Apocalypse. What is up guys and gals, Space Unicorn here, bringing you some hot frag action. So, today, today we are going to be doing something a little different. So I had a really fun video idea. It was Kai's versus Gal's characters in frag. Which lineup is going to win more? Which lineup is going to be more effective? So, with that being said, I have created two lineups of the best five of each of the groups to see who I think will win. So, first off, we have the guys lineup. It is a beefy lineup. We have JB. We have General Mech. Lucha, Ronin, and the boss. The Ronin and the boss and the Lucha, that's a pretty heavy one-two punch, but the gals are going to counter with ridiculous offensive capabilities. So we have Andro, Lolly, Ollie, Queen Boom, and Crystal. That's a tongue twister right there, guys. So we're going to see, put these guys into some matches. We're going to see which ones are going to win here. And I'm going to give you my honest opinion at the end of it. Um, so with that being said, we're going to start with the guys' lineup first, just because they have a little bit more defensive strength. Um, but let's see. Let's hop into it, and we're going to get real player matches. If we get a bot, we will play through it and then get you a real one, because we need a real player for this. This is the only way to test this. Who's it going to be? It looks like it is Riptide. Riptide versus the guys' lineup. So with that being said, this lineup is going to be interesting. I think I'm actually going to try and run Ronin here. Uh, reason being, there's one down. Chaser down. All right, we got some pressure on the tower. Lucha got through, unfortunately. All right, so the thing with these guys and cards, right off the rip, guys. Um, there's a few things we gotta keep in the back of our head. First off, the guys' cards are better. They have a lot more health, but on average are much slower than the gals' cards. Um, what I mean by that is if you compare the two, just for example, I just did some quick math on 10 of my favorites. Um, the quick math says... was a defensive attack there. The quick math says the average speed of the female cards is 11.6. Average speed of the male cards is 10 something. So that should kind of put it into perspective for you guys a bit as to the speed difference between the cards. In general, the female cards are faster, they're lighter, but the guy cards are a little bit higher health, but aren't don't quite have the speed to truly combat. What is he doing? <laughs> Gotta love it. The reason I have General Mech in the lineup is I knew they'd be running a Ronin. He is the perfect counter for Ronin. He counters him so well. Um, oh no, the lag spike, guys. The lag spike. Oh, this is a lot of lag. This is not good. Probably gonna DC here. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Hopefully we can hold it. He is he is he is beyond laggy guys. This is gonna be crazy rough. How is he still alive? Anyone wanna explain that to me? I'm just wondering. Alright, let's go. What? Who just shot me? Like on a serious note, like who? <laughs> Alright, I should have Ronin and Lucha going through here, which is all good. Alright, so, yeah, the guys' cards have a lot of health, but are not as fast. Minus, honestly, if you subtract the Ronin and the, uh, and the um, Striker, the guys' cards really aren't don't have a ton of speed. They're just not designed that way. They are designed with a very high health pool, um, which is to be expected. So, with that being said, the strengths are... Lots of health and pretty good damage output. Now, let's hop into the female lineup and let's take a look at what they got going. Like I said, looking at that lineup, that lineup is going to be an offensive juggernaut, but it's not going to have the defensive fallback that the guys do. So let's see if we can get it. So once I get out of this stuff, because it's all like, <laughs> you got all these presents, I don't want them. 
Okay, so guys, we're going to hop into the next one here, and we're going to be using the Gals lineup. That is this lineup right here. It is ridiculously offensive geared. All these cards are fast. All of them have a high damage output. Let's see if we can get a win with them as well. So, as I stated with the guys' cards, a lot of health, but the speed generally isn't there if you exclude Ronin and Striker. The guys' cards are relatively slow. But the girls' cards are very quick with very small hitboxes. So let's see if they can handle this offensive onslaught. The only disadvantage that the female cards have is the fact that they don't have any real recovery for a defensive push, which is okay. What are you doing, bud? About to slam him. Told you. The reason we targeted the one Doom there, guys, we don't want the, re the respawn of the Ronin. Let's push over to the next one. As I said, guys, offensive onslaught. That's what this lineup has, and that's what this lineup is good at. You do not want to be on the receiving end of a push with these cards. Oh, I think he hit me through everybody there. Good for him. <laughs> We're going to grab Ollie here. Like I said, we still have not lost this offensive push, guys. These cards are just geared to be offensive and fast. Oh, he's lagging. He's lagging. No. The lag. Alright, we're going Queen Boom. Queen Boom is actually a really good card to have in your lineup to deal with a Ronin. Mostly because she does play him pretty well. He actually has to play defense here, so I'm not too worried about anything that he has got going for him. He can have that offensive push. The offense, the damage I'm going to put out here on his tower is worth it. He is not going to be able to sustain it. I'm just going to issue an attack and completely ignore him. There's just so much offensive power coming from this lineup that you have to have, you're almost always on the back foot. That, For lack of a better term, you are almost always going to be on the back foot against this lineup. got through. We're now pecking away at this tower. He is still trying to push an attack. I'm not changing it my attack, buddy, because you are the one in the short of it here. He is the one who's in the short, and he still has not realized that, and it's going to cost him. Right now, Andro's at his tower, and she has a protection bubble. This is going to be all she wrote. Like I said, guys, the offensive onslaught of the female cards is just so good compared to the guy's cards. The guy's cards can put out the damage, but it's not at the speed and the consistency that this lineup is. So, with that being said, between the two lineups, what would I pick to win more matches? Hmm. Let's take one more look at these lineups and discuss this with you guys real quick. So... As I said, the Gals team. The Gals team, the, the amount of offensive power coming out of this makes it so you barely need to have a defense. But with the guys team, you have a little bit of an offensive power. The only thing that the guys really struggle with, and by the way, Blot is actually not a guy. He's listed, listed as a ink thing. So I don't have him in this lineup for that reason. With that being said, the offensive power coming from the guys team is a lot of high health point characters. I recommend, like, just for example, you have Lucha, you have Paku, you have Dr. Frost. All these really high health point characters, um, but they don't quite have the offensive output that the female, that the Gals cards do. Um, with that being said, they do have a better defensive recovery, but would it be enough to upset the onslaught from the Gals cards? So, unbiasedly, in the current meta, now, I stress current meta, in the current meta, being that it's splash damage and speed, I'm going to say that the gals lineup wins more matches than the guys, but only by one. So, if we let's say we're playing best of ten, okay? I say they win six and the guys win four out of a best of ten series. I think that's fair. Um, it's just, right now with the current meta being splash damage, if you look at this lineup, oh look, we have four characters splash damage. By the way, guys, if you did not know, just, just for, just, just want to put this out there, she actually has a small amount of splash damage. That's why I said four. So, in the current meta, this lineup is going to win the t best of ten series, six to four, over the guys' cards. But it's going to depend on the player base as well. Now, if I were to combine these two lineups, you would truly have something horrifying. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please like, comment, subscribe down there. I will see you, Legends, in the next one. Have a fantastic morning, everybody.